How would you grade out your performance uh, from Northwestern now that you've had a chance to, to look at the tape? Uh, yeah. As much as last year. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought I did all right. I thought I uh, made plays when I needed to. And um, there's a lot of things that I would have liked to have back as well. Like uh, there was a few throws that I just uh, missed and that I can't, I can't do that in uh, crunch time and in games where we need plays like that. But, um, you know, it was good enough to win. We got the W, so I was happy. Jared, you guys get the win, go crazy in Chicago, fly back that night, get in at two or three, and then practice the next day. I mean, can you describe kind of that crazy quick turnaround and getting focused again? Yeah, it was uh, it was obviously a really, really fun time in Chicago. Um, after the game, on the bus, the whole plane ride home was great. Um, and then, like you said, it was a quick turnaround. We got, we got a good chance to get some sleep, though. I mean, we didn't have to be up here until about 1. So I got some good sleep in and then um, just had to kind of get focused and go through a quick Sunday practice. And I think we did a good job. Is it hard to do that, to get focused, I mean, right after that and, and to settle down a little bit and get your mind back straight? Um, yeah, sometimes, especially after you know a big win like that to start off the season, it can be. But um, I thought we did a pretty good job of, uh, you know, just staying focused for however long we needed to for through practice and get what we needed to get done. Jared, you obviously had a very nice debut as a freshman last year. Um, can you just talk about what you saw from uh, from Luke uh, the other night? Yeah, he, he had a great game. He played really well. Um, came in and uh, did what he needed to do and really, I mean, ultimately helped us win. That's what, that's what uh, he was, you know, supposed to do in the game and that's what he did he played great he um did what like i said he did what he needed to do and helped us uh at what point in training camp i mean did you realize hey luke's gonna play and yeah it's gonna be something a little bit different when he's in uh yeah they talked to me about it um i don't remember how much before the game but um, I mean, it was it was a brief conversation, and I was totally fine with it as long as it was going to help us win, and it did. I mean, like I just said, I mean, if he doesn't pick up that first down at the end, who knows? I mean, he picked up some big first downs for us and had some really good runs, you know, broke a lot of tackles and really, you know, changed up the pace for us and changed up some stuff for their defense that allowed that, that didn't allow them to adjust to it, and um, it just worked really well, and I'm, I'm glad we used it. Do you have any chance to know any of the players on the Sac State team? I mean, they've got some guys from around. I don't think I do. I, 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 think I, I think I may have used to know some. That I don't know if they're on the team anymore, though. I don't think I do. From personal experience, you know, as a quarterback, you want to stay in that rhythm and kind of be in there and, and feel all that. How do you adjust the mindset to that? If, if you don't think you're the guy, then that you don't you don't play that spot. But how do you, as the guy, then adjust your mindset to kind of adapt to that? Having Luke come in and have mm -hmm. a have a two quarterback system, the way that it worked. Yeah, it, it it really didn't affect my rhythm as much as some people think it might have. It, it really wasn't that big of an issue. I knew he was going to go in there and um, you know get a few couple few plays here in, here in a row. And I, I mean, I knew I was going to go right back in. There was no really wondering about that. But uh, it really didn't affect anything. I, I knew he was going to do a good job. And when he would pick up those first downs, it would actually help. I mean, it would allow me to get back in the rhythm. OK, I'm going back out there on first and 10. And um, I just think we worked really well together. And it obviously helped us win. Hey, Jared, uh, you know, can you talk a little bit about that deep post touchdown to Trevor Davis? And you, know, you kind of looked at the swing route, went deep. I mean, was that something that you did on the fly, or was that talked about on the sideline? Yeah, um, we actually ran that play. I don't know if you guys remember one of the first. I think the first drive we ran the same play, and I hit the crosser, and then I looked up and Chris Harper was about 20 yards behind the safety, and I was like, "Damn, I missed him." So then we ran it again. And I'm like, "I'm gonna get it again," and then did the same exact thing. And this time it was Trevor ran right by him. Yeah. So I mean, was that discussed with Coach Franklin on the yeah. sideline, or that was something? That it was, you yeah, because we, we saw it, and I saw it on the field, and then they saw it on the sideline. We, I still got a, a nice, you know, 15-yard completion out of it, but um, 
came to the sideline. We talked about it. We saw that um, we had a good look there where he beat him. And they said, if we come back to that, take a look at that. And Trevor ran right by him. Okay, any further questions for Jared? Do you know anything about Sac State at all? Have you watched tape yet? or? Uh, yeah, we've watched film uh, briefly the last couple of days. And um, I don't know too much about their personnel. We only got a chance to see uh, one team they played. And I think they beat them. And uh, I mean, they look like an athletic team who's competitive. And uh, we're looking forward to playing them. OK, any other questions for Jared? Hey, last question. Just. Uh, yeah. What a difference on campus going to class today. A lot of excitement in the student body, or can you elaborate on that a little bit? I haven't been to class yet. I don't have class today. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, just just the buzz around uh, the community, I can tell, is just so much better. And just as in the locker room, it's just so much more excitement, and it's just a lot of fun right now. I mean, that's a, that's a big win for us to start off the season against a good Big Ten team. And, um, but by no means are we done. I mean, we're, we're excited to move forward and, you know, play Stack State and then so on and so forth. What, what do you guys want to work on this week as an offense uh, with, with Stack State? Sonny said a 4-2-5 defenses are kind of a pain. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your experience playing those kind of defenses and, and what are you going to look to do this week? Yeah, it can be a pain because it's just different. It's just different than what a lot of teams do. but. I think we're just going to do the same stuff we always do, you know, throw the ball when we need to, run the ball when we need to, and um, hopefully try not to hit a lull like we did against Northwestern and try to uh, be consistent throughout the whole game and um, play well through the whole game and not just through the first, you know, two and a half quarters, you know, play well through the third and fourth.